Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're going to look at how you can update the scenery library of Little Nav Map in combination with Flight Simulator 2020. To do that, we need to go to the top menu, which can be found here, and then based on that, we need to uh, select the database, which is already selected in this case. It's set already to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and there we have the option to say load scenery library so if we do that a new window will open as you can see it already has the information it's updated today because it's some testing with it and added this information already to the database now to make sure that you have the latest in the database for little nav map you simply press the load option that will bring up this window and this window will show you the progress and this will take approximately two three minutes so be aware of that uh, during this step it will simply go to the folder containing all the scenery uh, get the content from it and will make sure that it's being added to little nav map um, in addition to that it will also look at the community folder so if you added anything to the community folder which adds uh, for example if you are ils or markers waypoints uh, additional airports these will be added to the solution so is it recommended to update this one well it depends right uh the, i would say if you add a lot of sceneries to it then it makes sense of adding or re-indexing the database and making sure that all the content has been loaded to flight simulator 2020 or from flight simulator 2020 to little nav map uh, as you can see it speeds up a little bit um, it shows the progress about the number of files the number of airports and the number of markers uh, the other values will uh, pump up uh, in a very short period see waypoints ILS and DBs and the last step is mostly the, the airspaces it will initially say if you think hey there are no airspace being added well it will give it some time uh, talking about the uh, database sources which are available by default um, there's the flight simulator 2020 database but there's also other stuff and that other stuff is the RAC database which is 1801 uh, by default. There are some tricks or things which you need to understand uh, when that integration is enabled. And let me show that uh, once it has completed this step. As you can see, it's vacuuming the database that will uh, result in that little nav map uh, to temporarily freeze. And then after that, it will display done. So it takes two minutes, 24 seconds in my case. So let's go back to the scenery library. And here you see the Navigraph RAC cycle 1801. Um, by default, this option is enabled. Use Navigraph for nav aids and procedures. If you would set it to do not use Navigraph, then the following will happen. Uh, so in this case, uh, we are at Edinburgh uh, Airport and we want to know the procedures for that airport specifically. Uh, so it's always a challenge. So there's another way to do that, right? So go to airports in the search window and then right click in the, on it and then say show all procedures. And as you can see, now only the approaches are there. So these are the approaches which are coming from Flight Simulator. Uh, if you want to see the approaches which are part or if you want to see the stars and SIDs, I should say, then you need to re-enable the RAC 1801 version of the database. Keep in mind that this database doesn't update, and if you want to use uh, a more recent version, you need to have a subscription with uh, Navigraph. Uh, so now it's enabled again, so let's uh, do, the, do the same trick. Uh, and go to the airports, say, uh, show arrival approaches in this case it will 
show far more besides the approaches it will show the star alls and if we would go to departure procedures it will contain all the sids so that's really useful uh reason might be okay hey why are these need not part of the uh flight simulator uh database uh so i had a discussion with that with one of my followers and he contacted the owner of a little nav map and they're working on something which looks like to fix this issue so you don't have the dependency anymore on the rac cycle databases which is great of course so here ends this uh, short video in this video i showed you how you can update the scenery library from a little nav map in connection with flight simulator 2020 Hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to uh, put them in the comment box below the video. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.